Hello folks, a special hello to those of you who are taking up tests and examinations. Ready? Tip number one, make sure that you give equal importance to all the subjects. A few students believe in the offloading technique. They choose to study the hard subjects first and sometimes they are left with little or no time to study for the easier ones. So this as a result affects the total because it's the total that does the talking. Therefore, give equal importance. For example, if you have eight subjects, group them into two and do not put all the hard subjects in one and the easier subjects in the other. Because when you are doing your uh, study or when you're going as per your plan and if it's group one on that day, you will be overloaded with a lot of hard subjects and as a result you may give up the study plan. So make sure that the groups are you know equally balanced or at least balanced to a certain extent. Tip number two, frills. This is highly recommended because it stands for frequent, regular, intense, limited sessions. You should never choose to study for six hours or eight hours at a stretch. You need to take that required break, that required rest so that your body and your mind can cooperate and you can get going according to your plan. If you have about eight hours, which is supposed to be your free time or your study time, you need to have a pattern in place. Study for two hours, take a half an hour break. Study for an hour, take a 15 minute break. And likewise, you will have your necessary rest. Plus, you would have completed your portion as per your plan. Tip number three, sticky notes. Use sticky notes when you are studying and you need to use the sticky notes only if you really want to have a recap or you need to study that particular topic or particular question again in the morning. You need to be extremely stingy by using the sticky notes because if you use the sticky notes for every page then this exercise is futile. The intention of recommending sticky notes is to help you to have a quicker revision in the morning. Tip number four, make sure that you do not sit for more than 30 minutes while you are studying. Engage in standing because when you stand, you're concentrating on balancing your body weight. And sometimes your mind is focused on giving the weight to the right foot and then to the left foot. So as a result, you are cautious. Your mind is aware of what is happening around you and what is expected of you. So you are actually large and alive and you live with the moment, you go with the flow. So engage in physical activity. Number five, there's something called as notion. Yes, you can check this out here. For example, in any given situation, when you do not have the study material, but your friend has it, you can ask your friend to send a photo of it. You can convert that photo to PDF, use Notion, and you can change that PDF into an editable document. Meaning, you can engage in marking or drawing or uh, segregating or highlighting points, even if it is the PPT that is circulated by your supervisor. Tip number six, make sure that you take care of your health. Drink water, exercise, eat good food, but do not eat stomach food, eat good healthy food, be fit and best wishes for a beautiful success ahead.